Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download your entire Google Photos collection in one shot. And we're gonna do this with something called Google Takeout. So let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. As you can see, I am on my Google Photos page, uh, looking at my albums. And what you could do is individually go through these albums and download them uh, one by one, or you can come back to your photos section and highlight them all and download them that way. It'll zip them up into a big archive file and then you would download it through the browser that way. But the best way to do this to make sure you get every single photo, even if you don't have them organized into albums, is with Google Takeout, like I said. So how do we do that? Let's go to your uh, a new tab here and go to takeout.google.com, hit enter. And this is where you can pretty much, not only Google Photos, but pretty much any service that you use with Google, you can download that data in the in some type of format, right? So uh, Google Chrome data, Google Calendar data, you can keep going, going down here, Google Drive data, but what we're looking for is Google Photos data, okay? So uh, there's a checkbox by default on all of these. We're only interested in Google Photos, so let's deselect all those checkboxes and then come back down to Google Photos, and we will check that box only. Now, there are multiple formats that are going to be downloaded. You will get your photos, your actual photos in the resolution that you uh, chose when you uploaded them. You get your video, same type of thing. You'll also get your album and metadata. If you have albums, it'll t give you stuff like it says here, uh, such as the title or description of the album, and then photo metadata, same type of thing when the photo was taken and any comments that anybody made within Google Photos. So you're gonna get all of that data in one single archive. So that's just an overview of what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna click on all photo albums included. That's the default um, for this case, uh, because this is, I have, I, I probably have 500 gigabytes of photos or probably even more than that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial, but you can. By default, everything is selected. I'm just gonna pick a few of these. So I'm gonna pick uh, the album from my 50 Days Abroad and the album from when I sold my Buick SUV car. Uh, just the pictures associated with that. Now, down below, there are also, if you don't have albums, like I was saying, there are also uh, pre-automated um, albums, I should say, that Google creates for you So by year. So every picture that you took in, 2019, 2020, 2021. So right, if you don't have your stuff organized in albums, that's how you would get every single photo on your account. So with when you're satisfied with your selection, you can click on OK. It's gonna take you to this uh, next page. Uh, actually, it's not. We have to go down to the bottom and then click on Next Step and that'll take you to the next page, which it says, how often do you want to export these files? And we're just gonna do a one-time export. You could schedule that for you know, every two months, six months, something like that. Um, but we're just gonna do this once and done. And then the file type is going to be, you can pick zip or TGZ. Uh, zip is most compatible with pretty much any operating system. And then uh, based on how much data you're selecting, you can have each archive in, in its own uh, uh, file up to two gigabytes in size, four gigabytes all the way up to 50 gigabytes. So uh, I'm pretty sure all my data for those albums is under two gigabytes, but if you have problems downloading large files uh, and you know your data is over two gigabytes, then you might want to um, stick with something smaller like this and then you'll just get multiple two gigabyte archives. Uh, so this, for this case, we'll just keep the defaults here. And then like it says up here, it'll send me a download link via email when my files are ready. So click on create export, and this does take uh, some amount of time depending on how much the data is. So we'll just uh, fast forward through this and I'll catch up with you when that's ready to download. Okay guys, I'm back just about two minutes later. And as you can see, Google emailed you right after you requested the data. It said archive of Google data requested for this email address. Um, the next email, that was at 9.48 a.m. The next one was just two minutes later and it says uh, your account and your data, uh, your Google Photos are ready to download. So let's go ahead and download those files and that's gonna take us to the download section uh, after I sign in here. And here you can see this first one right here, Google Photos, the size is 1.58 gigabytes. It's already started downloading here. Um, and uh, this is the data that we requested, Google Photos. So that's gonna take just about six minutes here. So we will also fast forward through that. 
All right, we have about one second left and that archive has been downloaded. So let's, uh, let's actually put this on the desktop. I'm gonna drag this onto the desktop and then we can extract it. Okay, so just double click on a Mac uh, or right click on Windows and extract it. And now we have all of our photos in here. So open this up, this is a folder. Uh, technically all of our photos are in this directory, but let's look at this archive uh, HTML file. That's gonna open up in a browser. And it says, we'll make this a little bit bigger. Uh, we have 508 files totaling 1.58 gigabytes, okay? And um, the exported files, uh, we have our two albums, our 50 Days Abroad album and our Buick Rendezvous album, which contains these photos, which are linked here. Uh, but I think a better way to look at these are in the Explorer here. And then the file formats, this is kind of what we looked at earlier. Uh, about the photos, videos, album metadata, and photo metadata. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that actually looks like. Let's open up this folder, and we have our two albums in here, 50 Days Abroad, Buick Rendezvous. Let's, let's look at the 50 Days Abroad. Um, you'll see here is uh, all, all of our pictures. So here's a picture, uh, me on the plane, uh, outside of the plane, um, Barcelona Airport. What else have we got down here? Um, this is in Mumbai. This is uh, in Goa. So I have all of my pictures and then you'll see um, that we also have these JSON files, right? So let me see, um, let me find one that I kind of know. This this is in Udapur. But if you look at the associated, or where is the associated? This one, the JSON file for that picture, you'll see that it's a little bit weird format, right? But this is the name of the file, right? The um, timestamp that it was created okay uh, right here and then there's the, the readable format for that this is the GPS data the latitude and longitude that that photo was taken the altitude okay um, all this other information and then the original URL on Google Photos where that was located and it was taken with an Android phone so that that's the type of metadata that we're, we're talking about here and one of these is actually the album metadata too so let me see if I can find that. Uh, we only want to look at the JSON files. It's probably, that's a, no, that's a smaller one. Um, this one maybe? No, that's for the video. Oh, here it is, metadata.json. So this is, this is all the metadata for the album, the 50 Days Abroad album. So um, we have all of the descriptions for the, the individual uh, items. So this is a Varanasi. Um, and you can match these up to the actual uh, album itself, and we can we can do that. Here's here's the actual album over here. So we have 50 Days Abroad, uh, which is right here. And uh, near the end, I was at the Taj Mahal. So let's see if we can find that down here. Oh, and these are these are comments. So uh, somebody said, "I like it. Thanks." Um, somebody said. You're welcome, thought maps would help. Uh, that was actually me. Um, I didn't know you were in Iceland and LOL to the monkeys on cars. So that's the comments of these albums, which you can see right here. Those are those comments. And then there, yeah, there's Rajasthan, there's Pennsylvania, my trip back to Pennsylvania, uh, there's Delhi. Um, so so very, very cool. That's, that's how that metadata matches up. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do with Google Takeout. Like I said, if you're interested in learning about those, check out some of these videos over here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.